Um, I actually, you know, had one person garnish my babysitting wages, so I, he would pay, or I would pay, for a membership to a weight loss center. Constant pressure and ridicule yeah. crippled Adriana O'Regan's confidence. Uh, please, you stop gaining weight. And I'm like, ah, uh, thanks. The 32-year-old decided to lose yeah. weight on her own terms. Four years ago, she had gastric bypass surgery. Then she weighed 360 pounds. Today, she's 240. To better understand Canada's obesity epidemic, the federal government is putting close to $3 million into funding for research. We spend a lot of money in the healthcare system treating those complications of obesity. We spend very little money in the healthcare system actually treating or even better preventing obesity. This is a medical body composition analyzer. It creates a snapshot of a person's fat and muscle mass along with how much water you retain. It also tracks a patient's progress, which also helps health professionals create customized weight loss plans. You're five, two and seven eighths. So that's your 18.7 is your BMI. That's you clearly fall in that green category of good. Part of the funding will also look into tackling childhood obesity. In Canada, one in five children are overweight and one in 10 are considered obese. Severe weight gain can also lead to type two diabetes. When I trained, uh, there was no such thing as type two diabetes in children. Was, so a huge sea change that is a result of increasing body weight. Researchers have also found a connection between type 2 diabetes and patients who have had weight loss surgery. It turns out the diabetes can go into remission after surgery. I have had phenomenal success with my surgery and it's just kind of given me a better quality of life. While the close to $3 million in federal funding might not sound like a lot, this type of grant is actually one of the largest of its kind in Canada. That funding will be rolled out over the next couple of years. Andrea Puno, City News.